Hello everyone. How are you tonight? The night before St. Patrick's Day. I just read today. Do not wear orange tomorrow. Orange signifies that you're a uh, owned by the Queen of England. Has to do with uh, unions and I guess the Irish and uh, the English didn't get along too well. Probably still don't. <laughs> but that's okay. It's not like I'm going to be <clears throat> going out drinking green beer and kissing green young girls. <laughs> a little joke, everybody thought I was a little off my last video and that's just my personality. At my age, I come and go. So the news, it I pulled out my old book. Oop, got to give it proper. I've had this at least for 13 years. First published in 2004. And I've read it four or five times. Most of you that know me, I uh, came from humble background. <laughs> My folks didn't have much money. And I wanted to be a doctor. Well, I couldn't afford to be a doctor unless I wanted to take out a loan and spend half my life paying it back. So I thought I'd become a veterinarian. That even costs more money. Although if I'd have known I was going to have a farm and stuff, that would have been a, a money maker for sure. So there's a lot of parallels in this book. I'm not going to get my booming channel canceled because <laughs> I talk about the parallels between this and it's a lot to read. Everybody knows I'm an avid reader and if I get my nose on a scent, I track it down. And I've read this a number of times. That's why I knew this stuff was coming. The other reason I knew it was coming is my great uncle was at Fort Riley. He was one of the very first soldiers sometime around Christmas 1917 to have suddenly died of pneumonia. And I just saw a uh, movie last night that I've seen all the good movies if they ever made any I, I've seen them. Now I'm into the B movies. So I was into a movie last night about World War I and how they were uh, bioengineering organisms. And it just so happened that one jumped from one species to a human. Now this book presents the thought what if the flu, which turned you blue because uh, you weren't getting any oxygen to your muscle tissue, was the actual Black Death? Because if you read reports of the Black Death, the only thing that the Black Death did not have in common with the flu is the boils. So I'm thinking there was two different diseases. Uh, the one with the boils was a lack of diet. It was horrible growing season. Uh, the Mongols, as in Genghis Khan, had brought diseases and stuff. And used to throw dead bodies over the castle wall or send ships of dead people into the harbors. 
And so the thing that got me started on this is because uh, unless you're used to reading this stuff because you went to college and you had to read like eight or nine of these <laughs> per class, uh, you'll never get through it. Look up the part online about vaccinations. Having said that, back to my haul this week, which I haven't been hauling too good because uh, trying to get everything paid off. <laughs> Just because that's how I was raised. Okay. Nice, heavy, 21-inch chain. The chain alone is appraised at $100. It's Italy, 925. Either one of my friends has polished it or it's new. And look at that workmanship. I like it. I've had that one a few weeks. Now this is something that just came in. And I'm having difficulty. <laughs> I've always had difficulty with it, words. Serpentine, serpentine, and uh, seraphin. <laughs> Say that three times in the rain in Spain. Look at that. It's about three inches across. 925. Nice 24 inch chain with lobster claw. Another nice one. And yes, I'm handing, handing him off to my assistant. <laughs> oh, that's right, my assistant. <laughs> he used to swallow them. I'd find them in the yard in the spring when the snow thawed. Uh, this is Charlite. This is a nice specimen here. Again on our 24-inch chain. I like my char light. It's got a little green in it. Nope. Yep. Both. It's got dark purple and green in it. And just so that that's a seraphonite not a moss agate it's a seraphonite so I guess I'm working on my S's tonight this was a serpentine which is my little pet owl. He doesn't eat much. He never says much either. I think I'll hire him to be a troll. <laughs> I said no comments. <laughs> and then these are the cabs I got. Very nice. Very happy with these. That's cab number one. Cab number two. I think I'm going to mount it the other way. Cab 
Now that's how I'm going to do it. It's like it's coming up from the earth. Oh, and this one's nice. So I think I'm going to mount it this way. And this is where I have to thank the community that has helped me. One of my good friends here in town told a good story about You'll have to look her up and see what she has to say. Now, originally, back in the day, and this was sold to me as an opal, and of course I know it's not. I put it under my microscope. Whatever that glitter is in that glass, or a high-duty resin, this is not an opal. Oops. But a lot of people wouldn't know that. You'll probably see this again. This is going to be one of my examples if I ever get enough opals to have an example. I'll put this under the little microscope thing I got. See that in there? Opals are layered. That's why when you're cutting opals, you don't know where to cut it because you can cut out the color. And the next layer may not be as good quality. This one has no layers. And I think, and I'll probably get my butt in a sling again. Wouldn't be the first time. A lot of the amber, or the cobra that's being sold. Because I have returned some is just fancy resin put in a vacuum with a few termites stuck in there thank you Jurassic Park but it is real silver it's marked on the back it's an old pendant And that's all I have for you tonight, folks. Short and sweet, no comments, no jokes. <laughs> I had a horrible day. It's like I went on a three-hour cruise and it took me like four hours to get out of the pharmacy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to post this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all the same to the AI. Follow. That way you know when I post a video. Leave a rude comment. And I may or may not delete it. Because that also improves my ratings. Because it means I'm riling people up and I'm getting some people going and uh, so tell your friends subscribe and uh, I'll see you the next time I get on the bus I gotta go to work every morning at 8 o'clock